Welcome back to the Real Frame Reviews. I'm Scott, and today we have Jennifer Lawrence's new film, Red Sparrow. Red Sparrow is supposed to be a spy thriller directed by Francis Lawrence that has to do with Jennifer Lawrence's character, who is a dancer in what I'm guessing is Russia, and her uncle is some sort of something. And she sort of gets into this program where she becomes a spy and she, uh, I don't know, solicits men and tries to steal their secrets to give them to somebody. Um, look, this was supposed to be a, a, a spy thriller and it was actually a snooze fest. Um, I, I guess, let me start with this. When can we stop with the crummy Russian accents? That's what I want to know. Because every single time we see a movie or hear somebody with a Russian accent, they sound the same. Is there any other, like, way to sound Russian without actually doing that stupid, stupid accent? Or whatever the fuck they do it? I don't even know. I'm just really mad that I had to sit through this two and a half hour movie that was just god awful. Um, look, the the story goes nowhere. Um, it's supposed to be this spy thriller, but everybody knows who the each other are. That's that's how the movie is. The whole time, you know that everybody knows that they're a spy, and they just say, "Hey, I'm a spy. Hey, I'm a spy. I'm a spy. I'm a spy. I'm a spy. I'm a Russian spy." Like, come on, man, be real here. I mean, are, isn't there supposed to be some sort of secrecy here to maybe build the tension? Which is gets me to my next point, is that this movie has little to no tension. There are like three times in this movie where it's like, oh, great, a little tension. 20 seconds later, oh, there is no more tension. All right, 30, 40 minutes down the road in the movie, oh, hey, more tension, finally. It ends after 10 seconds. Because the editing in this film is so bad. There is so much stuff you could have cut out of this to make this a tighter movie and actually enjoyable. But instead, what they wanted to do was, hey, let's show Jennifer Lawrence naked here. Let's show her naked here. Everybody will love that. Not for two and a half hours, we don't. This is ridiculous. I mean, it, it, the writing at times is so elementary, which I hate to say this because I think Justin Scaife is the guy who wrote this, who did, he does films that I like, Revolutionary Road, I really enjoy. Francis Lawrence directs this movie, which I like some of his movies. I Am Legend, I mean, some of the Hunger Games are alright, I think he did the first one. But it's like, what is the point of this movie? Like, I don't even understand, what am I supposed to get from this? The only thing that I get is that, hey, we're going to stick Jennifer Lawrence in the in this movie, have her have a crummy accent, or maybe that's the way Russians sound. I don't know. I don't know any Russians. So have her sound like a Russian and then have her pull sides with the Russians and the Americans throughout this whole thing. That makes absolutely no freaking sense. No sense. And on top of that... They left about 40 scenes in this movie that should have been on the cutting room floor. But they kept it in there because you know why? They wanted you to sit through it two and a half hours of this garbage. So you go out and you never want to see another movie that has to do with Russian spies. There, I said it. One and a half out of four stars. And that's because there are a few scenes that actually were exciting. The first 10 to 15 minutes had my interest. It looked nice. And then all of a sudden, it just, it was like, are you kidding me? The mom goes, the mom goes, oh, your uncle's here. Let's have a good time. And then next thing you know, it's, the uncle leaves. It's like, I always saw the way your uncle looked at you. It was always so nasty with his eyes. It's like, what? You just had him in your house and you were just loving him. And now all of a sudden, there's this backstory of incest. Like, I don't know. Like, what the hell? One and a half out of four. Like, subscribe, comment.